So in this letter, I want to discuss the thieves of time with you. It is interesting that if someone steals our money or our property, we get so mad that we are often ready and willing to cause the, the thief bodily harm. We hold thieves, even petty thieves, in great contempt. And yet, whatever a thief steals from you, you can either buy back or restore. But there is a much more dangerous kind of thief that we tolerate a great deal. I'm talking of the thieves of time. These are things and people who steal our time, and they are more dangerous and more destructive to us than those who steal our money and our goods. And we should be as ruthless with the thieves of time, if not more than those who steal our goods. Think about it. Every day you are blessed with 1,440 minutes to use in any way you like. The trouble is, as the minutes take away, so does your life. That is why we need to be uncompromising with the thieves of time because it is your life they are stealing. Let me now reveal some of the thieves of time and challenge you to wage a relentless war against them. Here we go. Thief number one. Unnecessary phone calls and social media. How much time do you spend on your phone and on social media? If you have not worked it out, please do so. And I have no doubt that you'll be shocked at how much of your time is being stolen by this cunning thief of time. Please don't get me wrong. I think social media is great, and I know developments and advancements in telephone technology are amazing. But you have to learn to control how much time you give to social media and how much time you spend on your phone or You'll be, you'll be throwing your life away one minute at a time. Let me give you a few helpful tips here. One, don't check your phone immediately you wake up from sleep. Do your devotion, do your workout, and go take a shower, and then you can check your phone later. Two, impose a curfew on your use of the phone and on going on social media. You can decide that after, say, 9 p.m., your phone goes off and you suspend social media activity until the next morning. And three, if a chat on social media will not add value to you, then it is not your chat. Thief number two, procrastination. Procrastination is not just a thief of time, but it is also the thief of opportunities and of potential. Procrastination tells you to put off for tomorrow what you should be doing today. The trick is that tomorrow never comes, so, <clears throat> so what you put off for tomorrow never gets done. To keep this, this thief from robbing you, adopt for your motto, do it now. In other words, don't put off anything. Don't postpone anything. Whenever you feel like postponing anything, remember this saying. A year from now, you will wish you had started, you wish you had started that today. You can make it a month from now you wish you had started today. So do it now. Thief number three, sleeping too much. We need sleep, but too much of sleep, and it becomes a thief of your time. The consensus among those who have researched the human being's need for sleep have discovered that eight, six to eight hours sleep per night should be enough for anyone. Question. How many hours are you spending sleeping? And that includes your siesta. Don't make the mistake of sleeping your life away. Thief number four, bearing grudges. Bearing, gr bearing a grudge and refusing to let it go may feel great, but it is a thief of your time. This is how bearing grudges steal from you. It makes you spend valuable time going over what a person did to you and planning how you are going to get even. It is a kind of thief of time that can easily get away with a the theft because we don't recognize that we are wasting the time. But it is indeed a waste of time to be playing back in your mind or with your friends over and over what someone did or said to you that has offended you. And it is definitely a waste of time planning how to get even. So, my dear nephew, make it a personal philosophy not to hold grudges against anyone for anything. And thief number five, those who don't respect your time. This kind of thief of time comes in many forms. 
It includes those who call us without notice to complain about their lives. Then there are those who turn up at our doors without any appointment or prior notice. In the category of those who do not respect your time are those who keep you waiting, those who turn up late for an appointment, and those who come only to gossip about others. This is often the most difficult thief of time to deal with. But if you don't win the war against this kind of thief of time, you will lose control of your time and ultimately of your life. So, my dear nephew, these are just five of the many thieves of time. Make your own list and share them with me in your next letter. Until my next letter, it is yours in your corner, your uncle, Ebo White. Thank you so much, Uncle Ebo White. And um, it's interesting that you mentioned this because just a, a few days ago in our Star Wars conversation, we we're talking about things that waste our time. Yes and how they stand in the ways of our goals. Yes. And I love how you drilled it down to people, mm. particularly people who don't respect they time. They don't respect and, your and, time. And, and the, different, the different categories that they fall in. And thanks so much for, for that message. You're welcome, Courage. <laughs> the name still stays. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, Akle Boha has just brought us food for thought. And what we'll do is that we'll take these important messages. When we come back, we start off.